fall, a time of cooler temperatures, beautiful leaves, and all kinds of activities to do with the family. One of the most popular fall attractions are corn mazes, and one of the most notorious ones in the state is down in Albany at Mark's Melon Patch. I paid him a visit to talk about this year's corn maze on his farm. The corn maze actually has a has a, our logo in it, Mark's Melon Patch, in the middle, kind of in the middle of it, and then it's surrounded by farm animals and a tractor and the little. That's the two mile maze. The the half mile maze has like. Uh, Farm. It's like a farm scene with barns and all. It's really cool. It all blends well. It all, they complement each other. The question myself and a lot of people have is how do they make corn mazes? That question couldn't have come at a better time as a crew was down there working on Mark's corn maze that day. I talked to him for a while and found out about their business and how they design and cut corn mazes. I heard about a corn maze and I thought it sounded like a really fun idea. Um, I was farming at the time and so I thought, I'd like to do one out on our farm. And so we were doing a lot with GPS at the time. And uh, in fact, my brother had a GPS company that we were working with. And we developed a way to cut a corn maze out with GPS. They decided to turn it into a full-time business called Maze Play. He and his family travel all over the United States designing and cutting corn mazes. We go coast to coast. So um, uh, we do a little over 100 mazes every year. I talked with him for a bit and he explained their designing and maze cutting process. To begin with, we've got to figure out what the field dimensions are so the, the customer that we're working with will provide us with some field dimensions and then we start with that and then they give us a design idea and then we start drawing up pictures or find something that they may want that we've already done before um, and work with that and then once they've approved that then we start turning that into a maze design and go for there from there, um, get it put in the fi uh, those field dimensions. Um, and then um, once that's approved, um, then we come out and we cut in the field. And so in the field, we're taking that uh, design idea uh, or that maze design and we lay it out so it fits, um, verify that it fits the field and with GPS. And then we have GPS on the tractors where we follow basically the paths through the maze and cut the, the corn out that doesn't need to be there. They can do just about any design you could think of. We can get pretty intricate and pretty neat designs. This one we've got uh, Mark's Melon Patch logo right in the middle of the, the corn maze so it's kind of fun so we can make it custom uh, and uh, provide something that uh, is unique to the area and the maze that we're working with. Reporting in Albany for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.